So hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do a reading vlog and this time I'm going to read the Lovely War by Julie Berry. So today is Thursday, August 27 and it is exactly 8 o'clock in the evening and I'm planning to read this book. So ang tanong, bakit itong book yung nabili ko and not the Wikaton books na dapat ay binabasa ko ngayong August. So the reason why I picked this book rather than the Wikaton TBR ko, it's because I really wanted to read historical fiction and super moody reader ko talaga and I really want to pick a historical fiction with a twist of like fantasy and contemporary romance, parang ganun. Lovely War by Julie Berry is a YA historical fiction set in World War One and World War Two. So the reason why I love the premise of this book it's because uh, if you will see or saw my description here in booktube or in any other of my social media accounts, the genre that I really love is YA fantasy, contemporary, and historical fiction. And lahat yon na andito because this story is somehow follows Aphrodite. So siya yung magkikwento ng mga uh, characters, yung four characters dito sa book na to. And it is set in World War One and World War II. So, kumbaga, World War One, World War II is a historical fiction. And then, yung apat na characters dito na magkakaroon ng love, romance, so it falls in contemporary. And then, fantasy, kasi nandito si uh, Aphrodite and the other Greek mythology. So, I really miss Aphrodite because somehow, um, diba, uh, last June, I uh, I joined Percy Daton, so it's a Greek mythology. So, we read uh, the whole series, Percy Jackson, and and now, makita ko siya dito with the rest of the Greek mythology gods. Also wanted to say thank you to Fully Book SM South Mall Branch because uh, nag-inquire nag ako nito nung Tuesday. So today is Thursday. So sabi nila is meron silang available book pero nasa Rockwell uh, Branch sa Makati. So tinransfer nila agad yon and ngayon ng araw Thursday dumating na siya. So I'm really uh, I really commend all of the staff of Fully Book SM South Mall kasi ang bilis ng uh, transaction sa kanila. Ang bilis ng reservation, ang bilis ng inquiries. The reason why I'm not doing the Wikaton vlog right now, it's because I am announcing now that I am going home to my province, so sa Batanga. So, uwi kami tomorrow, Friday. So, I'm hoping that I'm going to finish this by uh, tomorrow then ng Friday because by Saturday, I'm going to do the last reading vlog for Wikaton. So, that is gonna be the second and my last reading vlog for week at all. I'm also going to announce na rin that I am going to upload this video on the same day na ya upload ko yung week at all reading vlog ko. So, two videos in one day and I'm pretty much excited to film and of course to read and to share to you guys all of my experience pag nasa Batangas na ako. So, for now, I'm going to read this book hanggang makatulog ako kasi Tomorrow, medyo maaga kami. I think 4 a.m. Puputa na kami ng Batangas. So, I'm gonna give you an update. mag pa ako. Hindi pa ako nag actually. So, I'm gonna give you an update later. So, bye for now.
Hello everyone, I am back. So, narating na kami sa Batangas and it is 6.22 in the morning. So, I don't have any reading update. I'm still on page 10 of Lovely War by Julie Berry. So, yeah. So, I'm gonna read now. So, bye for now. When I am back, so time check, it is 9.13 in the morning, so today is Saturday, um, August 29, and I'm still currently reading Lovely War by Julie Berry, and I'm on page 123 of this book, and so far, I love it. I really do enjoy the mythological uh, Greek aspect of this story because nandito si Aphrodite, si Apollo, si Hades, si Ares, and I really did love the uh, the love story during World War One and World War Two. I'm also sorry kung di ako nakapag-update yesterday because I really had a good time or great time uh, bonding with my cousins. But So I'm going to read more of this book and I'm going to give you an update later. So bye for now. everyone, I am back. So time check, it is actually 10.48 in the morning and it is actually August 30, Sunday and I actually finished Lovely War by Julie Berry and I gave this book, I don't know what rating but it will range from 4.5 up until 5 stars. So I'm not yet sure, I'm not sure what rating ko dito, but I love this book so much you know it really i really love the characters i really love their romance the historical element and the fantasy element of this book which is greek mythology so hello everyone i am back so the footage is actually cut because i'm not really used to like on talking this is a problem slam and it's because i don't have a room so i really can't express so hindi ko masabi ko ano gusto ko sabihin but anyway my final thoughts with lovely war by julie berry is i rate this book a 5 out of 5 stars. I really do love this book so much. Like the historical element of the story, the uh, Greek mythology at the same time, the characters in this story are really really lovable. So we have four characters which is Hazel, James, Colette, and Aubrey. And Aubrey is actually a male character in the story and I really get confused kasi pang babae yung, pang babae yung pangalan niya. So I really thought na babae siya. But anyway, he is not. He is a male character. So Aubrey is a male character with color. So in this book, makita natin na kung baga na discriminate siya because he has colors. But at the same time, it also talks about the racism during this time. And ang kanyang love um, 
love team is si Colette. Si Colette naman is somehow a singer. Singer siya, magaling siyang pumanta. You know, she sings very well, but she has a tragic past. The two main characters that I really do love is Hazel. Hazel is a classical pianist. So, naging friends sila ni Colette. And I love the relationship of their friendship. I love their friendship. At the same time, Hazel has a love team then, which is C. James. So, C. James man is somehow an architect wannabe. Kaya lang naging, she, he became a soldier. So, yun. So, nakakatawa kasi parang pinagtagpo sila sa isang uh, event. Tapos, naghiwalay sila. They are separated from each other because of the war and, you know, something that is happening. Um, ang kanilang mode of communication is actually letters, love letters, and it's really, uh, for me, really, it's really romantic. Kasi, I mean, hindi mo na yung makakita ngayon dito eh, sa present time natin. Wala na mga love letters, yung pag pag naghihintay ka ng mga letters sa loved ones mo, kahit matagal, hihintayin mo siya. So, talagang nostalgia talaga. Because way back before, na elementary ako, na-try ko yun before, na magkaroon ng, um, Pen pal. We wrote a letter and then transfer it to another school and then we reply yung kumbaga, exchanging of letters and it's really fun at the same time, you know, you can keep the love letters. Hindi mo love letters. You can keep the letters, you know, the friendship letter. Ba? Friendship letter. So yeah, um, nakarelate ako dito sa story ito because of the love letters. So what I like about this story is the Greek mythology of the story which is si Aphrodite, Apollo, Ares, and Hades. So pag si Hades na nagsasalita, uh, it talks about the underworld. Kumbaga, yung mga deaths and something. Si Aphrodite naman is really more of you know the love. You know, Aries naman is somehow the war. And then ang ating Apollo is you no know, random siya. Basta ang four characters, yung four characters niyan, meron silang designated na apat din na Greek mythology god. So it's really interesting, it's really unique. You know, this is the first time I saw that kind of you know twist na parang may may ikwento yung isang god na isang character and then so on and so forth. Parang ganun yung kwento niya. And I really did enjoy this book. The romance, the historical fiction, the fantasy element or the magical realism of this book. If I would mention uh, one word in this book, I would really say that the book is really balanced. Parang if you are into romance, magugustuhan mo to. If you are into historical fiction, magugustuhan mo to. If you want a fantasy element, you know, you will love this book. Kasi balanced lang siya. Parang lahat ng uh, element makita mo dito. So, it's really hard. Medyo mahirap din itong i-recommend sa ibang readers, especially if isang genre lang yung gusto mo. Kasi with this one, parang tatlong genre siya. But, again, this is a YA uh, historical romance with a twist of fantasy. So, I really did enjoy this book. I gave this really book a 5 out of 5 stars kahit nabubulol na ako. But anyway, I did love this. The romance. Na parang feeling ko nga, ano eh, talagang ginawa tong libro na to para sa akin kasi uh, yung tatlong favorite genre ko is naan dito which is historical, romance, at saka fantasy. So, it's really amazing. You know, if you love this kind of story, historical fiction, World War One with, you know, Greek mythology and then, you know, romance, gusto mong kiligin, you know, go pick this book and I really, really recommend this book so much. Like, this is going to be on my top favorite book of 2020 that I've read. What's really funny in this book is pumunta sila sa Paris and Paris is actually my favorite, uh, kumbaga, tourist destination na gusto ko talagang puntahan na hindi ko pa napupuntahan. So, parang, feeling ko talaga ginawa tong libro talaga para sa akin kasi parang lahat ng gusto ko, na bagay or na lugar na genre and everything lahat na andito. Kaya sabi ko parang ginawa tong libro na to para sa akin and look at my annotation. Sobrang dami as in, sobrang dami. So yeah, ganito ko siya kagusto and I really wanted to reread this during December and January kasi parang meron ditong mga scenes na ganun yung timeline niya. I'm also going to add na din that uh, the, it also talks about the effect of uh, after the war, you know, after the death of you know the other soldiers, no yung may iwan na family so it's really somehow medyo emotional din tayo doon sa part na yun so yun so kumbaga nung binasa ko to talagang mix, mix emotions yung nangyari sa akin you know hinilig ako naging masaya ako at the same time naging emotional and you know informative then especially the world war and then the musical with this story it talks about if love can conquer war so yun yung pinaka basic way to uh, to describe this novel with a twist of mythological Greek Gods and historical fiction with a lot of romance. So, yon ang description para sa akin ng lovely war. That's it for my video. Thank you for watching. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you wanted to see more about my book, which is highly click subscribe. And I will see you on my next video. Bye!